to my channel. I'm back this week with another video for you guys. But today we're going to be doing a very exciting review. We're going to be reviewing the brand new Stila Glitter and Glow Highlighters for the face. Guys, I am so excited to try this because I love their glitter and glow eyeshadows and I also love their shimmer and glow eyeshadows. So I have very high expectations for this. And yeah, without further ado, let's get right into this video. But if you're not a part of the Pauline family yet, don't forget to subscribe to my channel before you leave. If you wanna see a review on this product right here, then go ahead and keep on watching. So yeah guys, first I'm gonna start off with the fact this is $30 and it is 0.20 ounces. This packaging is also larger than the packaging they use for their eyeshadow, so you're getting more product as well. So it's not like you're paying six more dollars and you're getting less product. This is actually bigger. And I also just got one shade. I got shade Kitten because all of the other shades they have on the website are like blue and pink. And I'm not gonna put blue glitter on my face because I don't really like that. But if you do, they also have other really nice colors. So this is shade Kitten. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you a swatch of this on my hand. So this is shade kitten. This formula is very liquidy It is not as thick as their glitter eyeshadows and it is not as opaque either But it is also very pigmented and it does have the glitter flakes on it Which I'm really excited for because I never wear highlighters with glitter and the fact that this has glitter is really exciting So so now that I just told you the price and the weight I'm gonna show you guys the packaging up close So this is what the packaging looks like again. It is very sleek if you've seen their eyeshadows This is the same box and it has the gold band because it is a glitter and glow not a shimmer and glow when you open it up This is what the dofo looks like it is a very nice just like their eyeshadows but bigger as you can see It is the exact same packaging just like double the size and I really like how this here doesn't get messy at all I hate products that get really messy like on the rim when you open it like I could not stand that and the fact that this is really clean It's really nice. So now that I just showed you guys the packaging I'm just gonna read what's on the box right here So there's like a little list and it says benefits. So pretty much these are the benefits So first it is the sheer liquid sparkle highlighter Second it has a multicolor mix of pearl and glitter that adds an iridescent wash of sparkle to the skin And third it is water infused formula which applies easily and works perfectly over makeup. You use this with the applicator, wand, or the fingers. You tap onto high points of the face and blend, and you can wear on bare skin or over makeup. As you can tell, I have my full face done, so we're gonna be trying this over makeup, because I feel like if you're gonna wear such an intense glitter highlighter, it would be nice to have a full face of makeup. However, if you do like to wear this on your skin, it says that you can, but I'm not really testing that, because I already have my full face of makeup on. So one of the things that I'm really gonna be testing in this product is to see if the glitter stays on my face because I do notice that with their glitter and glow eyeshadows I do have to put a glitter glue before I go in with the eyeshadows but I'm not gonna put glitter glue on my cheeks that just doesn't really make sense to me so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna apply this I'm gonna see if it falls over my face I'm gonna see how long it lasts on my skin I hope it lasts a long time because I'm gonna do some stuff I'm gonna go out I don't want glitter all over my face I just want it on the high points now that I told you guys what I want Let's get to the application. Okay guys, so what I'm gonna do is just that I'm gonna apply this with the applicator that it comes in. It has a little nice doe foot and if I need to, I will blend it with my beauty blender and my beauty blender stamp as well. So I'm gonna start with my cheeks cause I feel like my face needs some highlighter. I am so excited. So I'm just gonna put this here. Whoa, it's blinding. And now I'm just gonna blend it with the Beauty Blender. This does it worse over makeup, so. I'm just going with my finger. Ooh, just gonna add a little more here. Just going in with the Beauty Blender, making sure it blends. So this is what it's looking like right after blending it. Is it more reflective than other highlighters? Yes. I feel like I am putting their eyeshadows on my face. So what I'm gonna do 
is I'm gonna show you guys a comparison of the eyeshadow. So this is the shade Peachy Sheen from the Glitter and Glow eyeshadows, and this is the highlighter that I have on my face right now. As you can tell, these two have the exact same formula, except for the fact that this is a little bit darker. Okay, so of course, this is a glitter highlighter. It's not gonna look like a powder, and I do like the fact that it blended into my skin nicely. I feel like the glitter is a little bit more finely milled than in their eyeshadows. But at the same time, you just saw those swatches. These look exactly the same. And when I was applying it, it felt like I was applying the eyeshadow on my face. And I couldn't really tell the difference from the eyeshadow to the highlighter. So I hope that their formula has something different. Because I do notice that their eyeshadows fall all over my face when I wear them without a glue. So I hope this highlighter doesn't do that. But it's looking pretty. If you like really creative out there makeup and you like extreme highlighting, this is great for you. One thing I'm noticing right now with the highlighter, when I look forward, it looks like I have a shadow instead of a highlight. But when the light hits it, it's like shabam. Beautiful. So I'm gonna do the other side of my face. Oh no, I dragged it too low. I'm just gonna even the two sides out because I dragged this very low and I didn't drag this one as low. So I'm just gonna add a little more here to make them the same because I do want both sides of my face to look the same. Okay guys, so this is what it's looking like when you look at me from the front. This is what it looks like on the sides. Honestly, I thought this was gonna be more blinding. Of course, you can see that it is very reflective, but I feel like even my Carly Bible Looks Edition palette highlighters give me more glow than this. I mean, I like this, but this is not impressing me. Um, I literally feel like I put some of the glitter and glow eyeshadow on my face as highlighter. I don't know, I really like how the packaging of this is bigger, but to me, this feels like a jumbo size of their eyeshadows, not a highlighter. And I know that this is a glitter, so it's not supposed to look like a normal strobing liquid highlighter. I was expecting it to be a little more blinding. I was expecting it to be like shabam on your face blinding deceased more like a cover effects drop with a little bit of glitter it's kind of falling short for me and this is my face completely done right now it is 5 31 in the afternoon i know it's late in the afternoon but i go to bed super late on friday so i'm gonna be up until like two in the morning so i'm gonna be testing this bad boy highlighter out throughout the rest of the night and I will be back at the end of the day to show you guys what it's looking like if it fell over my face or if it didn't and right now I am liking it I mean am I obsessed and am I gonna go run and buy all the shades probably not because I feel like I literally just put the eyeshadow on my face but guys I will see you in a little bit well hello guys so right now it is 3 26 in the morning so I've been wearing this makeup for 10 hours so I feel like this highlighter got a really long wear test which is really nice because that's exactly what I wanted and I have to say first off it doesn't look bad like as you can tell when the light hits it it looks really pretty and it didn't fall all over my face. I was so impressed because I feel like with their liquid eyeshadows, their glitter and glow liquid eyeshadows, when you put them on your eye without an eye glue, those shadows fall all over your face. And this highlighter did not do that. So that is really nice. So apparently this formula is a little bit different from their ones for the eyes. However, as personal preference, I don't think I will wear this as much on the face. It's not like I hate it, but I feel like this would be such a cute topper for any other highlighter. Maybe if I use my Carly Bible highlighter, I would just put that powder highlighter and just add a little bit of this to add that extra dimension. But I don't think I'm going to wear this on its own again. And that is mostly because I feel like this shade is a tad bit too dark for my skin tone. Um, it's not really the formula, it's just a personal preference because I feel like when I'm looking straight forward I can see kind of like a shadow right here from the glitter and I don't like that. I like to be highlighted and when I look at it from the side it looks really pretty. The good thing about this is that if you're looking for jumbo size glitter eyeshadows, this is great. I feel like this would be so cute for like carnival makeup for like Coachella or something. That would be, would be amazing. That's pretty much my final verdict on the Stila Glitter and Glow liquid highlighter for the face. I like it. I think it is a nice product. However, I don't think I'm going to be wearing it alone again. I just 
feel like I like my highlighter to be a little more blinding and I feel like this would be a, a beautiful highlighter topper and a beautiful eyeshadow as well. And yeah guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys liked this review. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel before you leave. If you liked it, and let me know in the comments if there's anything else you would like me to review. I already have some reviews in mind of some new stuff that dropped like this last week. So I am really excited. And I feel like this next week is going to be so huge because Anastasia is going to be launching so many stuff. That soft gone palette. Oh my god. Oh, and I also have to tell you something. Okay, guys, so this is not really a part of the review, but the lipstick I am wearing right now is Naked by Anastasia Beverly Hills. And I just really wanted to bring this up because I found these liquid lipsticks, the one that I am wearing right now by Anastasia Beverly Hills for $6.99 at TJ Maxx. And I also picked up the shade Spicy from Anastasia Beverly Hills. And these are their matte liquid lipsticks. Like, originally, $20 for $6.99 so I picked up two of them and they also had the Aurora Glow Kit for $24.99 which I also picked up and the lip palette for $24 which I also picked up and all that stuff so if you've been looking for Anastasia Beverly Hills products like their cream contour kits, their glow kits, liquid lipsticks and lip glosses definitely check out TJ Maxx if you want to save some money well you guys that is officially it for this video thank you for watching and I will see you on my next video bye guys